A tip for when you're cutting saplings to ultimately drive into the ground. So let's say it's a cook kitchen or some type of shelter support that we're gonna drive down in the ground. A lot of guys will come, they cut this flush cut, take it back to camp and then sit and work with their ax to get this nice point on. We can save the step of sitting and working with our ax to save time and save on our tools by just cutting this at an angle. So rather than flush cutting this flat, I'm gonna start at a section and I'm gonna just start to cut downward It takes a couple more saw strokes to do this, but now I created a point that I can just drive down in the ground. And that's gonna be more than sufficient for most things that we're gonna need. We don't need too much point here to drive it down into the ground. The concern a lot of individuals have with this is of course now we have a sharp point sticking up in the woods. So if you are doing this around camp or in a trail that a lot of people travel, this is not gonna be your best decision to do this because this could be a safety concern. It's not super sharp, but somebody can fall and get hurt on this. I always use this technique if I'm well off the beaten path or I'm way outside my operational area and I'm bringing material back in. It just saves time, especially with shelter building, to cut things at an angle like that because I can come back and drive them right into the ground. I don't have to worry about going back and repointing that edge. Another option with this technique is to, of course, if you're concerned with safety or you don't know the length of the item you want, is to flush cut the bottom and let that nice flush cut out there in the woods. And when we come back to camp, determine the length of stick we need, and at that point, use the top end as our wedge to drive down into the ground. Again, just setting our saw at an angle and taking our time to get in there and sawing at that angle. At that point then again, we have our point that allows us to drive this much easier into the ground. This is just a quick tip I use, and I've been using it for some time and it works out really well. It saves a little bit of time and most people are on a time crunch and they only have limited time to be out here. So if we can do something like this to save a couple extra minutes so we can get an extra project done, it's well worth it. Until the next video, stay in the woods guys.